Okay, one documentation at a time. The next video I think I will update with my exercise progress since I got some more to report on. That is going very well. But I also want to start documenting, um, just in short videos, hopefully I'll keep this short, drinking aged urine because there's a lot of, you know, speculation and there's a good reason for it. There hasn't been too much, you know, as far as people experiencing and doing this and showing and documenting it and showing that it's at least safe to do. Though I don't advise anyone to do it, I'm doing it um, on my own, you know, free will. And I'm also, I also have a lot of experience with this and urine therapy in general. So those might also be factors into why I'm able to successfully be able to venture into these territories. Aged urine is incredibly good though for the skin, using it topically. I have done that on close to a daily basis, probably 300 plus days out of the year. I'm using it topically pretty much head to toe. I put it on before I go and run, especially on the legs. I soak my feet with it. You see that uh, trash can right there? That is mostly full with urine, mostly aged urine. I soak my feet before. I need to start doing it more after as well for even faster recovery, but it helps me tremendously with my training. But there isn't too much, you know, as far as, uh, there's a lot of, uh, confusion on whether you could in internally ingest it or not and it is fine um, other people that I know have done a lot more I'm still just doing a little bit at a time testing the waters like literally and trying to see what I can do and just kind of take it incrementally and let's do some of that right now I got that's all fresh urine right there this right here is aged urine and it's very very good quality aged urine this is actually, I have a lot of this, um, about exactly close to 10 months old. I think I said it was around eight months old in the last video, but I um, got my numbers off a little bit um, when I was just trying to estimate. It is 10 months almost to the exact day because I stored so much of this when I was doing the 20 day fast that I did and it has turned out all that stuff all that urine that I aged since then has turned out to be super high quality as far as what I've experienced from using it and how it works and how it gets into the skin so well and from also my just uh, vast experience of using aged urine on the skin and knowing and seeing all the differences because they all are uh, so much different you know as far as how they turn out in quality say like this one which is a whole nother story is a whole different thing because I'm doing something completely different with that one and also it's from different times based on different times of the year, different eating habits, different this and different that. It's always going to turn out different. It's always going to change and, and age differently. It's going to ferment differently based on what's in it. And so the stuff from the fast that I have has turned out to be the best, the highest quality stuff that I could get. So uh, yesterday, and like I mentioned, I've done this many times anywhere from like 10 to 25 milliliters or so mixed with some the reason I showed you the uh, fresh urine is because I'll mix it typically with either water and or fresh urine just to dilute it I don't really feel I'm not ready to start ingesting it say like in a sh in shot form or just drinking it straight like straight from the bottle and chugging and gulping it or anything like that though there are people that are venturing down those lines and <clears throat> they've been fine they've done well and they have good experiences I'm not ready for that yet that's fine that's up to me I don't feel that I really need to do that but maybe someday we'll see this is all just a continuing journey you know, to see um, but I like to do things little at a time and build up to it so let's take some of this right here and pour at least let's see how much that is at the moment maybe I'll add some more so that is, let's add a little bit more. I'm going to do twice as much as I've possibly ever done. Actually, yesterday was the most I've ever done. So however much, however many milliliters a half an ounce is. Okay, and we have exactly about 50 milliliters there. I'm going to add this into the fresh urine. And what I'm also going to do to further dilute it make it more palatable and easier to drink is add some water 
Now that's a, whoops, almost, almost completely spilled it there. That is a complete full glass right there, over eight ounces, eight, nine ounces or so. But, you know, I'm just gonna bottom it down, you know, bottoms up for this. Seriously, it's really no big deal. You just drink it, you're done. You don't think about it too much. And when you're used to it, you get used to it, you know? That's the bottom line. It doesn't, it's not that bad once you've gone down the road a little ways. And so that's that. I'll have more to talk about with that, more documentation as far as doing this. And I'll have a workout update or running uh, progress update with my training. I'm doing very well with that. I've had two of the best hill workouts I've ever had. Actually, they are the two best hill workouts I've ever had. And I'd like to talk about those. So if those videos don't interest you, just kind of skip it. But I do want to document, you know, my progress as I go along. So in hindsight, in the future, looking back, we could, or I can, or other people can see what I did and how I progressed along and how these things helped me, especially something like uh, soaking. I'm telling you, this is where it's at. The longer, the better, too. Um, I find that even 10 to 20 minutes will help. But if you could stay in there for 20, 30, I've gone, I've gone over an hour, but um, anything over, I'd say, 40 minutes is just incredible. Like I mentioned the last time after I did that nine-mile run, the next day that I soaked my feet where the level wasn't quite so high, it was about just a little above my ankles or so, my feet and ankles felt 100%. And they felt very sore, very uh, tight and tired and hurting before that especially um, because it was just you know within a little over 12 hours or, or so after that run that I did so that was amazing to experience though it's no it's it's not uncommon at all as far as every single time I'm talking about multiple dozens of times that I've done this at least probably getting close to a hundred you know soaking my feet now it's up to you know getting up a little past my cap um, near the top of my calves or so so I get that much more benefit and I did that today had a great workout it's no coincidence that I keep improving and there are of course other reasons why I'm improving because you know you train hard you work hard you get the results you see the improvements so that's enough of that thanks for watching